At just 15, Jeremiah knows more than most about bereavement. He's lost his best friend, as well as several others, and he used to bottle up his feelings, only letting them out with bursts of anger. Norfolk charity Nelson's journey helped him through, and now he volunteers helping others with support, which he says is essential to prevent grief becoming something more serious. I think I would have been, I'd be a lot more angry. I think I still would bottle it up a lot, and I'd probably be in trouble at school a lot more than I already am. I could see how like a build-up of emotion could lead to, like outbursts of stuff. Uh, I could see how like accidents could be caused by, th by that and how that could lead to like youth offenders. And it's that risk that was the focus of a visit by Justice Secretary and South West Norfolk MP Liz Trust today. She toured the charity's base at Smiles House in Little Plumstead and met the youth panel to hear about their projects, like their smartphone app, which has been downloaded a thousand times in a year, and their new bereavement boxes. Well, I do think it's very important how we support people in the justice system, and obviously environments like this um, can very much help where we've got you know, vulnerable children in difficult situations. So certainly there, is a, there are things we can learn. But I'm also interested from the point of view of being a local MP and making sure that children get the support in the most difficult time of their lives. Nelson's journey offers support, counselling and the chance for young people to meet others who've had the same experience. In the last year, the charity's had almost 800 referrals, 22% more than the year before. Chief Executive Simon Wright says some studies have shown one in six offenders have suffered a bereavement. Untreated grief can lead to many of those uh, uh, behaviours developing and, and, and mental conditions uh, emerging, which can then lead on to more offending behaviours. Our belief is that if you can provide an early intervention to children in those at-risk categories, then you can help them feel more positively about their place in the world and by doing so ensure that many of those most damaging behaviours do not emerge. Simon says there are no plans at the moment to expand Nelson's journey outside of Norfolk, but hopes visits from people like Liz Truss will raise its profile and encourage other groups around the country to spread the same positive message. Lauren Hewitt, Mustard TV, Little Plumstead.